Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light Into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through, if you believe it's true, baby won't you let the light shine through.
Hello there and welcome to the latest Elite FPL podcast with myself and Jason tonight. It's not just me on my own, I've actually got a partner in crime, it's uh, my good mate uh, Jason. Uh, welcome to the stream Jason. Hey, hey guys, how's it going? I know there's a lot of people in chat, we'll get to them guys in a minute, but we've got a lot of talking points from today's world of football. Now, as it stands right now, there's been a few friendlies either played today or are on right now. Uh, Liverpool... Uh, winning 3-1 versus Liverpool uh, versus Leon. Sorry, we had West Ham winning 5-3 versus Hertha, Hertha Berlin. At the moment, we've got the the Chelsea game on versus Salzburg. After just 40 minutes, they were 3-0 up. Uh, Pulisic with two goals, Barkley with with the other. 
uh, playing a very strong team. We'll get onto all this in a minute. Um, and as it stands right now, Tottenham on TV at the moment, ITV4, if you want to know, um, are playing Bayern Munich. They're 1-0 up thanks to Lamella. Uh, like I said, a lot of talking points today. We've got the news of David Brooks uh, injured. Lloyd Kelly injured. Does this mean now a starting place for Rico? Uh, Tom Heaton uh, moving to, to Aston Villa for £8 million, um, from Burnley. Uh, we've done various polls today. We'll go into details about that. And yeah, all good. Um, Jason, who's in the chat? Who wants to chat? Um, <laughs> talk things FPL, basically. Absolutely. There's quite a lot of the uh, regular listeners in the chat, or viewers, I should say, as well. Um, we've got Carl Kirsten. We've got FPL Booner. We've got Anorag. Uh, we've got Emilian. I've got Brew. Um, Brew, um, again, thank you so much for that donation the other day. Sultan Saeed. Um, Dereco is in chat. We've got Ryan Seacham in chat. We have uh, the Daily Llama back in, in chat. Um, a lot of the regulars, a lot of the regulars at the moment. Yeah, it, it, it's been, um, like I said, this is day eight of nine streams in a row for myself and uh, just the Elite FBL podcast being uh, streaming every single day. And uh, Straight away, I'll get straight into the the Liverpool game that happened earlier. Again, there was only three first teamers that you'd expect to start for Liverpool, which is Alisson, Salah, and Firmino. And Firmino was the only one that scored a goal. It was uh, Salah's first game back. Anybody in chat can let us know how Liverpool looked. But uh, yeah, Jason, what are your um, just immediate thoughts on um, a no show from Salah, so to speak? <laughs> I mean, it's it's one of those, isn't it, where like you know. People last season, you know, we all piled to get him in and he had a bit of a slow start. It could happen again this season. I mean, this season it could be another slow start for Salah. I mean, you know, I know he's been on holiday. There's been people saying he's still on the beach, um, still not quite fully focused or fully uh, fully fit, really. Um, take that as you will, of course. I think there's going to be a lot of people. I read it in the chat, actually, just um, as the stream was loading. There was, um, I think... There are a lot, I do agree, actually, there's a lot of people that are looking to stray away from the template at the moment. And um, I think there may be more people now that are considering maybe taking that money out of midfield with Salah and, you know, using it to, uh, oh, thank you very much, Brew, for the five pounds uh, super chat there. That's, that's, uh, thank you. Thank you ever so much. Evening, evening, Brew. Brew. Donated five pounds through super chat. Evening, lads. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Did you hear that? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm looking at some <laughs> That's a new feature we added, um, just so it reads it out, so that Stevo will never miss another donation again. Is that right, Stevo? Uh, yeah, hopefully so. Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest for me personally today, the biggest talking point from a friendly point of view, and we got Dereco, um in the chat today watching live is the Chelsea lineup. It looks a very, very strong lineup indeed. They're three nil up at half time. I would probably say that this is possibly going to be their first choice team. Dereco, if you want to come live on air and uh, tell us your thoughts by all means. But we've got Kepper in goal, Aspil Equator, David Louis, Zuma and Emerson, Kovacic, Jorginho in the middle, and then Pulisic Ross Barkley, Pedro and Abraham up front. And like I said, Barkley's already scored. Pulisic has got two. I mean, straight away, I'm looking at this thinking maybe maybe Zuma is that five million cheap hmm. um, defender from a premium team. Notorious Nerd talked about this the other day, about which are the best options from a cheap point of view in, in premium teams. Kurt Zuma, Jason. Yeah, I mean, it's that, it's like... <sighs> So you just don't know, do you? Don't know until game week one uh, who Lampard's going to choose. But it does, it's promising to see him in that team. And, you know, the, we've been talking about Zuma and Christensen and, and you know, who's going to prefer to play alongside Rudiger and, and obviously Lu, Louise as well. Is, um, I just don't know. I just think that, um, I think I think it's still a wait and see for me. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to just, I, I, I said from the beginning that I'm just going to hold off from Chelsea completely. Um, now there's some people that are going to be like, well, I'm going to get Asper de Quetta in, but I just think that I, the, the defenders that I've chosen at the moment, my team, I'm happy with, and I'm willing to just wait and see on Chelsea. Mm. Yeah, I. Well, I, I'm. I would. I would consider him if, for instance, if I was guaranteed that he was a guaranteed starter. Like I said, I know I've just said that it looks like he is going to be the first choice. 
uh, based on this particular team. I ran a poll earlier on, actually, interesting. It's all the first teams. I ran a poll earlier on Twitter, at Elite FPL. And the poll's quite simply this. Uh, so, obviously, Tom Heaton has now left, uh, left Burnley. And uh, from that point of view, I want to say that um, what a fantastic servant for our club. Um, six, seven years with us. Absolute phenomenal goalkeeper. I mean, if it wasn't for him, we'd have we could have lost games by five, six uh, goals. He was he was just absolutely incredible for us. So I wish him all the best. But it means that it looks like Nick Pope will be our number one uh, goalkeeper now at four point five. And I, I like I said, I put out on Twitter that now he now Heaton is gone. Is Nick Pope in our thoughts for our first team drafts even more now? And uh, simply put, the options were he's now an absolute bargain. So absolutely, I'm going to consider him. Or there are there are basically better options. And 84% of the votes came in as he's an absolute bargain and absolutely certainly. Well, it's funny. You sh- it's funny you should say that because actually I I got contacted by FPL Lad on Instagram. And he's basically saying um, that he made he pointed this out that Henderson now being back at Sheffield United, um, Henderson at four point five along with um, Heaton, they actually rotate really well throughout the season. They actually avoid each team avoids a top six team all the way through the season. If you wanted to to oh, double really? up on them, yeah. So it's so there's an interesting one there. The whole season they do not face a top six side. Wow, that is, um, I think, and yet ironically, they probably get most save points when <laughs> playing the, the 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 big six, which which I find absolutely um, absurd. But I mean, no, it's, it's I, all depends if you're going to play that tactic, of course. But I, I think I I don't know. I'm actually starting to lean towards De Gea, but I'll talk about that in the future podcast. I'm sure. You know, in, well, interestingly, um, talking of De Gea and everything, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to deliberately post my latest my latest team in the Discord group. And there's a reason for this is because um, you may be aware, Jason, that a lot of people are going on your advice regarding Wambasaka and saying that <laughs> because of Jason, oh, we're God. choosing Wambasaka and a lot and, and a lot of people like me, based on this potential Harry Maguire move, whenever that flaming happens, are thinking, does Wambasaka come a really good option? But more more interestingly does david de Gea become an option and well i'm going to post my team in the rate my team now i'm sure i'm going to speak about it tomorrow tomorrow um but this is my latest draft and i'm going i'm still sticking with a three five two but i've changed a couple of players based on the information that i'm receiving from the wonderful calls that we're getting. I mean, I've got to say... That oh, I like that the team. Shows, oh, man. The shows that I'm seeing as of late have been absolutely phenomenal. I mean, the the calls we're getting are just getting better and better. And people are turning my head about this Sabellos for, for a start. Sabellos. Sabellos, um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, he is a really, really interesting um, option here. For an Arsenal team, very, very attacking I keep reading articles that he is going to be filling that Aaron Ramsey role where we all know how well Aaron Ramsey did for Arsenal. And they've got two fantastic opening fixtures, Newcastle and Burnley, that I would say they're pretty much guaranteed to win both. Whether they're comfortable or not is a different question, but the point being is guaranteed to win, Mm. I would say. And he could be the key to opening up these two teams. And uh, yeah, Ramba Saka... I'm going with because based on your opinion of him and what mm. everybody else is talking about, it's this whole chat about bonus points and everything. And maybe Man United start off like they did under Solskjaer when Solskjaer first joined, um, just winning and beating every team in sight, albeit the clean sheet. Unbeaten, exactly. unbeaten in preseason. You know, mm-hmm. they, they, I mean, the morale should be relatively high. I mean, obviously, we don't know what's going to happen with Pogba. Um, I'm hoping he stays. He's got a I think he's still got a place in United. I think he can really make a name for himself at United if he really wants to. And, um, you know, Rooney actually came out in, in the news and actually kind of stated that, um, that he backs Pogba to, to, to do big things at United if he stays. And, um, you know, the the thing is, I think there's going to be a slightly different animal in United this, this year, especially if that Maguire deal goes through. I think a lot of people in the FPL community, um, not to mention the Man United fans out there, there's going to be a lot of people looking at Man United and 
taking them more serious in defence. And I, I think Wan Bissaka is is still an amazing pick. You know, he's he switched to United, but I think it, he's his defending is on point. His movements on point. He's, he's he's fast. He can get he can get forward. He can get crosses in. It's 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 a great value. It's a great value pick in my opinion. And um, I was... and I'm looking at your team. I just want to say I'm looking at your team. I absolutely, I absolutely love that team. I do. Yeah, I, I'm now. I was actually debating on. I'll ask you straight away. Who would you rather have, Wan Bissaka or David de Gea? Well, it's to optimize your funds. It would be Wan Bissaka, but um, yeah, I think I think with Wan Bissaka, you've got that you've got the ability to 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 spread your funds about around a bit more. Um, and at five point five, obviously you got Zinchenko there as well. At five, I mean, those picks. We're gonna. I wouldn't be surprised if if your team come game week one has has those has the, that at least those three defenders in it. Mm. Um, and I just I, the fact that you've got Kane, Salah, and Sterling in a team that I'm actually liking the look of because up until now I've looked at teams that have had the mighty three of Kane, Salah, and Sterling, and I've not been too convinced. But so um, I can't remember who it was in Discord was like kind of like I think it was um, it might have been Ryan or Gutam was trying to talk to me about Wesley and I went away and I just did my research on him and I watched his, uh, some of his videos. And I think he's the kind of player that could literally just storm in the Premier League. Like he's physical, he's quick, he's got eye for goal, and you know who knows away at Tottenham. I funny you mentioned Wesley because, funny enough, he's a bit of a concern for me because uh, the South American expert. I'm sure everybody knows Tim Vickery. He was asked on TalkSport today about his opinion on Wesley, and he confirmed what I've heard about Wesley, which is he's a guy that likes to hold up the ball, but he doesn't like to score. He likes to assist rather than score. So what are your thoughts on on that as a bit of a a consensus thing about the fact that he's more of like you just said with his strength and everything, just um, there to provide for others? I mean, at his value, at his price point, if he's getting assists, he's still, he's still performing amazingly. So, I mean, yeah, if he's knocking the ball down and other players are getting the goals, then, I mean, at that price point, I wouldn't be too too hot, too bothered, to be honest with you. Ideally, you want your striker to score goals, but if you're getting assists as a hold, you know, as a holding up player, then, yeah, well, perfect. Y- Yotta, yeah, was, can... Yotta was doing that, wasn't he, last season? Yes. Yeah, that's that's completely correct. I um, I I wanted to talk to you about um, the heat. The, the, the sorry, David Brooks getting injured yeah. and and Lloyd Kelly getting injured for for Bournemouth. And uh, do you now think that Rico becomes a bit of an option? And does does the fact that Brooks injured does it now have an effect on your thought process when it comes to choosing Bournemouth assets? Um. No, I still think that they'll still have a decent attacking threat without Brooks. I mean, Brooks was always not get well. Brooks isn't guaranteed to play ninety anyway. Um, judging by last season as well, he was getting rotated quite a bit. And um, you know, you've got Stanislas that can come in. They've um, they've got, got a sort of potent attack. I I would um, I wouldn't be kind of cautious and moving away from Bournemouth just because Brooks have been out I think three months has been kind of the rumour at the moment with an ankle injury injury, which is kind of gutting for for him but uh, you know I still think uh, Bournemouth will be good Yeah so I think that the best thing to do is uh, see if there's anybody in the old Discord let's take some calls, let's get opinions from the the world of uh, fantasy football, the FPL community and let's uh, see who wants to talk basically as I always say yeah, so we've got a few people in the uh, waiting room. We've got uh, Anurag, Emilian, and Richard S. in the waiting room at the moment. So I know that you wanted to talk to Anurag. Um, yeah. Uh, there was a post. I don't know if you can get him to repost it or not. Or give me the time I know where he, I know. Yeah, I, I know where he timestamped it. So basically it was at uh, 1828. Okay. Uh, Anurag uh, posted. You want to try and get him into the channel and I'll have a look then. 
Yeah, certainly. I need to. <laughs> ironically, I need to uh, go live myself. But um, Anorag, just to let you know, you need to unmute your mic. Make sure that you're listening to the stream through. Well, basically, make sure the stream is turned down. And uh, yeah, we can get, then have, as I always state, a coherent conversation. What am I doing, Jason? I completely lost the plotting. There we are. Right. I'm live on here. So, Anorak, we're going to bring you live on air now. And we're going to discuss a thought process that you brought to me earlier on. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Hello there. How are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, my friend. More importantly, I'm going to read out what you uh, put up on the Discord earlier on because it was quite an interesting uh, topic point. And um, I'm hoping Jason's got the team up on screen at the moment. So basically, what you said was this. This is tentatively my final team, my finalised team to begin the season, but waiting on two transfers to go through and player prices, Pepe and Dybala. So I will be talking about this whole strategy if I do get live on air. The reason I'm saying this is because I'm probably not going to be able to get on the live stream before the deadline next week because I'll be too busy with various things. So, Anorak, yeah. you... Um... Yeah, this is basically my team. Well, I'm basically... I'm potentially planning... I mean, it always depends on Pepe's I was, I was not so... I'm not 100%. I mean, people are saying Pepe's price can be 8.5... Uh, it's 8 million and then in my Facebook some people were saying potentially him being around Zaha's price I don't know I mean if he is Zaha's price I was thinking of doing a direct swap <laughs> from Zaha to Pepe okay if he was in Z if, he, if he comes in Zaha's price if he doesn't I'm looking at and yeah basically I'm waiting on both the ballers and Pepe's price from the looks of it from people that I don't know if Pepe's price goes to 8.5 or 8 million and I'm Guessing, I don't think the bar. I'm, I'm, I'm. My prediction, I'm predicting the baller will be around either Wadi or Firmino's price tag, so 9.59 million. I may do Aubameyang to the baller, Zaha to Pepe. If that goes, so basically Aubameyang to the baller will be one point less, and then 1.4, 7.5 to 8.5. So you think then that Pepe is going to come in as a midfielder? Yeah. Now, it changes that, changes that whole strategy, but yeah. Pepe I mean, I don't think... Like midfielder, eight, around 88.5 price tag. I don't think there's a chance that he's going to come in at 8 point something. I think, with, based on what I've seen no, on his goals like, last year, I think he's going to come in at a minimum of 9, at least. I think that scoring, what was it, 35 goals and 79 appearances, and um, he's being talked up a lot. The fact that he'll be going, the fact that he's at Arsenal, I think that nine, nine point five is probably going to be around his his price tag. Um, but I mean, the team at the moment that you've got up at the moment for people listening on audio is uh, we were talking about him just a second ago. Mm. It's Henderson in goal, uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Dina, Laporte, Wambasaka, Sabellos. Zaha, Salah, Tielemans, and then a big strike force of a Bamiang and Kane up front. Uh, I'm, I'm liking it. Jason, yeah, what are you uh, thinking of this team? Yeah, um, he's he's gone with the no man city attack. Um, so I mean, with the Bamiang away at Newcastle, I think um he's got a great chance to to get return there. Um, he's he's got one too many. In my my I'm. I would probably go with just a one Arsenal asset. I know why he's got Caballos in his team with 5.5 and Enabler. Um, I mean, you are running the risk, but I mean, again, it's an, you would think against away at Newcastle that Arsenal could do well. Um, so I'm going to you know, obviously give you the benefit of the doubt on that one. <laughs> but in terms of um, the rest of your team, it's um, it's, a, it's a very well spread out team. It's got, you know, Zaha, you got, you got a penalty winner there. Um, so you got the ability to score goals as well. You got uh, Mohamed Salah as your captain. You got uh, say again. Uh, I think I, post, I think I posted about Sterling. What do you think about Sterling? I know people are saying Sterling. What do you think last season for for me Sterling? I, I posted it. I only had him once. Because I was like surprised. I, I saw looked over my teams. I saved all of my teams. I only had I only had Sterling once in my whole 38 game weeks. <laughs> 
I owed him only one game week. So like, oh, it's like, oh. so you're not you're not too worried then about Sterling. Okay, I mean, I mean, it's going to be how it's going to be highly owned, um, and but on the flip side, you're going to have a lot of differentials over other people, um, and yeah. that mainly being Kane and Aubameyang because you know people are going to be investing money in midfield to make make use of having Salah and Sterling, and you've gone heavy at the front with Salah, so um, it could really work out for you that four four two formation. It really, really could. Um, I I think you're not you're not you're not being too risky here you've got you've got Salah let's be honest everyone's going to be captain in him probably well not everyone yeah. but a lot of people and then you've got you've got Kane and Aubameyang as well in your team which you could easily outscore Sterling um and other picks like Sigurdsson um and Fraser you know and Wilson that are pe- people are bringing in yeah. could easily outscore them so I can definitely see your logic behind it um I think yeah I, I don't have a I mean, the only we don't know about Ceballos and how he's going to play for Arsenal. But if he plays anything like he did for Madrid when he got the minutes, it could be an absolute bargain. And I think I've always said you're allowed one risk in your team. You're allowed one risk in your team. You've got it with Ceballos. There you go. Um, have fun with it. That's what you know. It's so nice to see a, a, a slightly different team from the templates we, we, we're we're starting to see. And I agree with the chat. I mean, I agree with the um, hello there, Resi Desi. With the five euro super chat. Wow. Oh, wow, Resi Desi. That is much appreciated, my friend. Thank you ever so much. You've been you've been a, a subscriber of ours for quite some time now and thank you for your support. It's um it's great. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so this is most likely my most likely sign lineup, but I'm still waiting on final potentially <clears throat> about the whole Pepe and the Mal situation. Okay, yeah, well, well, yeah, absolutely. We're still waiting on a few transfers that are going to be uh, set to come through. So, of course, but I do like the framework of your team, and um, I think if you do stick with it, you you could end up getting some decent points game week one. And obviously, you've set it up for for more than one game week. Um, but if you were to, have you got any transfer plans already at the moment? Are you planning to, to to move any of those players out game week two, game week three, or are you are you kind of just planning for the long haul? Um, uh... At the moment, not from Wilson, but I want to somehow try to fit Son in game week two. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know if we can do it, but that's like, right now I don't really have a plan yet. A plan for like go game week, game week by game week for transfer. It, yeah. Uh, so, but my plan is potentially trying to fit in Son game week to the game week two. Okay, that's... um. um I mean that's a popular pick. I think a lot of people will be transferring in Son. Um, but um, but yeah, Anareg, that's that's great. Uh, Steve, you got any, any questions you want to ask him or? No, I, th- I think I think Anarag, if you stick yeah. with what you're doing, and I, th- I think it's a perfectly good plan. It's it's like you said yesterday. There's just um, an information overload. Uh, you feel that yeah, you're just being constantly... somehow randomly an interview happens. Yes. <laughs> not, but you never know. And and you've you've collated all this information and you've just gone. You know what? This is the best team that you can come up with um, as a almost a set and forget for the next week or so before the game starts. Because like you said, you haven't got the time to be messing about with it much. Yeah, I got this team and then I'm gonna finalize on Wednesday night. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Anurag, thank you ever so much for taking your time to being on the show and talking about your team. I much appreciate it. Um, and yep. yeah, I look forward to seeing how you get on game at one. Um, so that was Anarag. Um, get Can show, we, um, yeah. I, I, I'd like to get the record on immediately. I want to talk about this Chelsea game, all right. All right? If that's all right, okay, absolutely. I'll bring him in. The record, you're live on air on the uh, FPL call in live on Elite, Elite FPL. Uh, how are you there? You can you hear me, yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Sorry, I just had the stream on, so I was, I was a bit oh, that's right. No, worries. Again. yeah. Yeah, uh, Dereco, Obviously, uh, you know what's going on in the Chelsea game. You're you're yeah, yeah. you're four one up. You must be happy at the fact that Barkley's starting. Would you say that this is predominantly your starting eleven? Yeah, um, I think so. Uh, I'm not sure about Pedro. I feel like Mason Mount might take his position, and it looks like he's just been injured right now. But I thought Mason Mount would be on that left cam position. 
But other than that, I think the defense certainly, I think that's going to be the starting deep, uh, defenders. Kante, I don't know if he's going to be back on time. If he is, he could take Jorginho's role. Oh, not Jorginho, sorry, uh, Kovacic's Nasty role. But yeah, most of One second, one second, guys. Chat. Put sure. this towards Stevo's cake and vodka fund. Okay. <laughs> We've, uh, sorry, we just had a donation from Nasty uh, Balls saying put sorry. this towards oh, wow. a four ninety nine donation from Nasty Balls, um, saying Stevo put this towards your cake and vodka fund. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I've got to uh, take a. It doesn't matter. You carry on, Jason. Uh, Derecho, you carry on, my friend. Yeah, sorry, Derecho. Yeah, no, no. So yeah, just uh, I'm very excited about Barkley, man. I'm so, like, if he does even. 80% of what he's doing right now in preseason, he'll be amazing for 6 million. Because, yeah, even in this game alone, he's got two assists. He's on penalties over Jorginho based on what we've seen in preseason, and he's on free kicks. Mm. How is that not value for 6 million? You were talking just... him up, you were talking Barkley up um, for a while now, haven't you? Yeah, well, yesterday was I on the stream or the day before? I can't remember. Yeah, you were. You was, yeah, team. you had him on your team. And we were kind of, we were yeah. talking about Mason Mount and I was saying about Mason Mount and you actually said, well, hold on, what about Barkley? And, um, you know, it's, has he kind of now shown that he's, he deserves, for, you know, starts in the first team on a regular basis under Lampard? What, and Direco, yes. your, your answer to that would be? Yes, 100%. Yeah, I said this yesterday or when I, I was yeah. last on stream. So after today's game, 100%. Yeah. If he's not, I'm, I <laughs> don't know what don't. I'm doing. I'm, yeah. I'm going to be upset. <laughs> that's that's you know fair. I mean? That's fair. That's fair. No, I mean, it's, I mean, that again, it's um, another really tempting. This is a great, actually a really great preseason because Barkley wasn't on a lot of people's radars um come the you know come the launch of fpl 2019-20 and now obviously under the under lampard he seems to really have you noticed that as he sort of like upped his game a little bit under lampard in your 100%. opinion 100 percent. yeah um he wasn't on my radar either i'm not gonna lie i never would have thought about him um and a lot of people from what i've seen are I say no Barkley just because he hasn't played well last season. Well, last season he played in a completely different position under a completely different manager. So how can you base it on last season? It doesn't make sense. Now he's playing in his favoured position where when he's played there in the past, he has thrived in previous seasons, mostly under Everton. That's where he used to play as that number 10 role. And well, he, he, he was always he was always bigged up as that up and coming player, wasn't he at Everton and coming yeah, into Chelsea? Yeah. He never quite reached his potential. Um, mm -hmm. But are we now starting to see the Ross Barkley that was breaking through for Everton that joined Chelsea with so much promise? Mm -hmm. Are we now starting to see it? And if it is, this is his season. That price this point is, is, is absolutely chance, yeah. yeah yeah. Now Hazard's not in there, and it's not all about Hazard anymore. Yeah. I, 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 I agree. I think very close eyes on, on Barkley. And, you know, yeah. if you want to take one risk in your team, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, I mean, it, it's still a risk only because he's, a, he's not going to have high ownership, but mm -hmm. definitely worth, worth a go if you're going to, if you're going to invest money in him. Yeah. yeah, definitely. And like you said, like you said, you can have one risk player and he is my one risk player. And, and I've got gun in goal as well. Um, so I guess two, but gun goalkeepers, whatever. Mm. Um, but yeah, he is my risk player, basically. I've got my team in the rate my team section. It's pretty much the same as yesterday. I just made one change. I went from Lucas Moura back to Wilson mm. just because I feel like it's a more secure pick. But that's yeah, it really. yeah. So, so, so you answered um, Steve-O's question then, really, why this team that Brooks being now potentially injured for three months with an ankle injury, you're still going to be going oh, Fraser, Fraser Wilson. Honestly, I didn't even know that Brooks got yeah. injured. Yeah. I just had Fraser because... In training, apparently. Yeah, Fraser's a beast, man. Yeah, I I agree. I think I think Bournemouth will still have a lot of threat without Brooks in the team. But uh, but yeah, I mean, it's your team is a very well balanced team, and um, I, I mean, you said about Gunn, I mean, but you know, it's against away yeah. at Burnley, and you could easily get something out of that. You know, mm -hmm. Steve, I may want to disagree there, but uh, but yeah, <laughs> I, I, you've got an interesting pick in Yot in Jota there away at Leicester. Um, do you, are you kind of one of these people that go form over fixtures and you think that, that Jota's just got it in the bag to, to do well against uh, Schmeichel and that Leicester defence? Mm, 
Yeah, kind of. I just, I, I have. He's <laughs> don't got say. Feeling, he's got a feeling. Pick. I don't know. Like he, every time I watch him play, like even against C and everything, he just looks good. Like he looks like a good footballer, and he, it's not like he's not scoring. He is scoring. So okay. I don't know. I just want him in, isn't it? Okay. And, yeah. Like, I, can, I can I can change him up to a Chelsea striker if I see they start performing. Because right now Chelsea strikers, I don't think are a, go- a go-to pick. I mean, Obviously. if you, you look at Jota last season, the way he performed in that Wolves team, granted they're going to be in they're going to be in Europe now, and granted there's they've they made a couple of signs, but they haven't really set the world on fire. But mm-hmm. it's still a very very good Wolves team, and yeah. you know it's it's that price point again. It's like it's not it's you're not it's not the end of the world. You're not spending mega bucks on him, and you no, know no. You, you could easily do you could easily get good returns from him. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Also, I'd just like to say. Um, uh, Steven mentioned at the start of the stream about Zuma. Mm. Um, mm. I know he's five mil, but honestly, in my opinion, Chelsea haven't been haven't looked very solid at the back in preseason. They st- they still look very shaky, and for that reason, I've got Emerson on my bench. And I feel like if you're going to go Chelsea, you should only go wing backs or right backs or left backs because from what I can see, the the tactics are to suck players in to make a gap on the left for Emerson, and he's going to run up and try and cross them balls in or get into the box and shoot like he's done in this game. So I don't think, even though Zuma's a 5 mil pick, I don't think you should go because the clean sheets are going to be hard for Chelsea as of what I'm seeing in pre-season because it doesn't look like Lampard's got it stable yet. And I think the defence will take a bit longer than the attack will for him. To... So that sounds music music to my ears as a United fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's, yeah. I think it's going to be a good good game, like a little, uh, a little 3-2 Chelsea win there. Uh, Barkley I don't know. hat-trick. Well, <laughs> actually, uh, Jason revealed something to me before we went on air. Jason, do you want to tell us what Solskjaer has said about uh, the United game and game week one? Yeah, so uh, Solskjaer in an interview um, today uh, came out with a, an, a massive um, announcement. Take it as you will, of course. Um, in inverted commas, our starting 11 versus Milan on Saturday will probably be the same as our first league game in eight days time after that so oh, so he's kind of so it's so all i'm gonna have my eyes on that united 11 when when it's uh when it's released on saturday um against milan and um you know i wouldn't be surprised if i mean solskjaer's it's not pep is it you know he's not going to play games with us you don't think anyway he's a pretty pretty nice guy is ollie giving us that nugget of information so yeah. so far into the you know um ahead of us now i think that um I think it'll be interesting to see who he plays up front, whether it will be uh, Marshall, whether it be Rashford. Um, you know, if we see Mason Greenwood and where we see Mason Greenwood will be another interesting one as well, because I know that a lot of people have got Mason Greenwood on their bench and a 4.5 attacking option for United. It would be an absolute dream this year. It really would. Has there been any more news on Dybala? Uh, not, not, I've not read any more concrete news. It's just like agreeing a final, like they're trying to just negotiate the final terms, but it's all, f- all I've just read it all from newspapers and I, I don't, I, I, until, until I see him, you know, signing that contract and holding up that United shirt, it's never a done deal, is it? So it's obviously yeah, when you, when you've got a, when you've got a trade as well, when you've got a player trade like Lukaku, there's mm-hmm. so many things that need to be negotiated and like, like the relocation of the player and there's all these yeah. clauses and stuff. So yeah, I, I would imagine that it's probably going to take a few more days yet. You watch, it'll probably be announced at 10 o'clock tonight or something, but <laughs> pro- probably take a few more days. Yeah, I was just gonna say because I think if but if uh, Diabala does come in to the United team, then I think that straight away puts Greenwood out. Greenwood out, just because they play a similar position. If I'm not wrong, right? Yeah, like they... that forward cam right wing because Diabala can play anywhere. So if if Diabala comes in in the first game and he starts on the bench and Greenwood's on the bench as well. Mm. He might bring green with uh, that ball in over green, maybe I don't know. No, it's a good, it's a good point. Yeah, it's a good point. I don't know, but yeah, something to think about. Yeah. Yeah. Anything? Any other questions? Steve, hey? um, are you going to be available tomorrow morning stream? Is <laughs> uh, tomorrow? It's, what? It's, what time? <laughs> uh, I'm probably. This is an exclusive for everybody listening now. I am going to be doing my final. Uh, live stream for the nine out of nine days 
and it will be a special one for our Southern Hemisphere fans. So it's going to be what seven thirty, eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, Steve, yeah. o, Steve, I just want to say, like, on behalf of all of the elite FPL community, and for those of you who don't know, like Steve O's just said. He's been doing a stream every day for nine days, um, either in morning or in the evening, and he's just been an absolute marathon man. Um, and you know, it's kind of like just keeping everyone kind of engaging in conversation during this uh, this this lull in the preseason. But um, hopefully, we're getting to that juicy point now in the in the in uh, the preseason where we actually get some transfers done, some good news, and um, we've got some things planned, haven't we, Steve? With the community team coming up, with you guys voting for the community team, Steve will talk more about it shortly. Um, and that's um, yeah, and obviously the the prediction game, the tap tap sport prediction game, which if you don't know about, check the video on the sh- on the actual channel. Um, it's the pin video at the moment, um, or ask in Discord. We can let you know about it. But that you can predict the scores of the Premier League games with us each week, and the, the kicker is you get entered into a draw to win a hundred pounds prize if you get all of the predictions right. Yeah, very nice, absolutely. Very nice. Yes. And just to answer your question, Steve, I was trying to make it. I was trying to make it. I'm not going to lie. The last two 8 a.m. streams that you did, I definitely missed because I slept till like 1 p.m. So but I'll try. <laughs> for you, I'm going to try to wake up. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, it's going to be my last one for two days. <laughs> I get to have the break. <laughs> it's a big break. <laughs> and then we all start again from Sunday. It's Don't you find it frightening, Direco, that uh, – on Sunday, it's the Community Shield, and then the following Friday, it's officially the game has launched. Oh, I can't wait, man. You don't understand how excited FPL Boona with the super Buzz chat. Five pound oh. FPL. Boona. Boona, my goodness. He's on it, he's on it. Through super chat. Blimey, Thank so you, Steve. Ten, ten pound an hour from him. This is better than where I work. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> fantastic. Direco, yeah. thank, thank you for joining us, mate. Appreciate it. Appreciate you having me. Thank uh, you. The stream's lovely. Keep it up, guys. It's gonna go far, man. It's gonna go far. Keep it up. We've seen, we've seen that you guys have just been just blowing up and giving us so much support, and we just honestly can't thank you enough. And thank the you. Discord community yeah. is just getting more and more closer. We're getting to know yep. you guys as people, not just names on the screen. We get to know, and and the best thing is, we're going to get to know your ups and downs come the season as well. We're going to get yeah. to, we're going to get you guys on, and you're going to have either the the best things in the world to say about your team, or you're going to be screaming. Um, yeah. Add add Whitfield. Thank you ever so much for that subscribe there. Thank you ever so much for the support. And um, yeah, it, like like add there if you if you're not following or uh, subscribe to the channel and you like the content and you want to get involved in in talking about your team come the season kickoff, then by all means hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to know when we go live and hit that like button as well if you've enjoyed the stream so far and you're interested and you think that we need to tell youtube that these guys are doing a good job just hit that like button and we can uh, hopefully project up the rankings absolutely yeah cool thank you very Do- much guys cheers director thank you cheers, director. Bye-bye. Good night. thank you yeah, jason I've, I've, I've just posted up the uh, elite fpl community team the well the most popular votes um, yeah. For the elite FPL community, I, I obviously because I uh, spoke to you for um, a couple of days at least. Uh, what are your thoughts on this elite FPL community team? <laughs> Wait, so so hang on, you've just posted it because I'm uh, that is the that is the most popular one there, the Van Dyke. The, the, yeah, yeah, the one you just posted, literally the one. Yeah. Uh, Eight thirty-four. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it looks very similar to yours, but no, no, it's not got Kane in it. So. Um... Okay. I I think I mean, it's just very 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 template, isn't it? Um, mm. Alexander, it's got safe options in it. Laporte and Van Dijk, Alexander Arnold, um, Frasers. I mean, these these players we're seeing quite a lot of Tielemans, Sterling, Salah. Yeah, it's all the popular picks really, and obviously Wesley becoming more popular now. Um, definitely, I definitely think that uh, I think that uh, it's probably going to be very similar. The final community team will be very similar yeah uh, just to let everybody know if they're wondering what well, this isn't the team that i've voted for and everything no it's not uh what it is this is the most popular picks that were sent in by you guys there was about 25 teams that were sent in to me i collated all the data and basically this is the team with the most picks but what we're going to be doing on sunday is we're going to center 
your choices around, I think it was eight players, which are definitely going to be in the team. So the eight players that absolutely are definitely in the team are going to be Ryan and Button as your set and forget goalkeeper. It's going to be Alexander-Arnold, Salah, Sterling, uh, Kelly, then Donker and Greenwood. And then the other choices, we are going to be putting it as a vote on the Discord that we're that Jason's going to be uh, putting up um, mm. on Sunday or Saturday or whatever. Literally, get, can I just... I just need two secs. My daughter's crying. I'll be right back. It's all right. Uh, and we need you guys to basically send, get your votes in when Jason gets the, the polling up, uh, because we need you to let us know which players you specifically want to be um, directly revolved around the eight players that I've just mentioned. Uh, we want to make this as simple as possible on Sunday. So it's going to be Sunday at 6 p.m. PM. We will give you the exact details, but it's going to be six or six there. I think it's going to be six, and we are going to be getting you all to be discussing live on air and also uh, voting live with us, choosing your elite FPL community team, which will be then uh, representing us in a specific mini league that was set up by at sixth goal. That's Stephen Toomey, who is one of the correspondents for Planet FPL. And you guys are going to be representing us. And simply put, as John Harris asked ages ago, it's a question of, well, how do you decide the transfers and the, the captaincy picks? Well, each each game week preview that myself, that well, that we'll be doing, we will be asking you guys if you want us to do a transfer for your team. And of course, from, from a captaincy point of view, it's not exactly going to be difficult. We are just going to put up in, as a vote the most popular captain picks for that particular game week because we're not going to be, for example, we're not going to be putting in, say, Telemons as captain or whatever because no one's going to choose Telemons. You know, we're going to be putting players like from this specific team here it'd be something like who do you think will be captain who should be captain for game week one should it be Salah Sterling or Wilson as an example if, if they're the three other teams there's no point in having all 11 players up on the thing because no we're not going to you're not going to be wanting to be captaining um, someone like Dina for crying out loud we just basically want to make it as simple as possible really um, yeah, what can I say? There's been a lot of chat and conversation going on at the moment here. Uh, FPL Penguin, welcome to the um, welcome to the stream. Hopefully, you can get on tonight. I know you mentioned that uh, that you are going to be uh, wanting to come on live at some point. Um, Jason's back with us live. I was just saying about uh, this Sunday and all the how we're going to be doing the Elite FPL community team and whatnot. Mm. But uh, do you mean to show them? So, guys, I'll just quickly show you. Did you tell them about the vote system in Discord? Did you? Yeah, you, you carry on, my friend. Yeah, so so in Discord, guys, if you're not a part of it, you can join the Discord with a link in chat that hopefully one of the mods will do in a second. And apparently, there's been a Kane assist with an Ericsson goal in the Spurs game. So, there we go. Kane bag bandwagon, everybody. Or if you're going <laughs> to. You know, um, but the in in the Discord we've got uh, we've got the polls in Discord at the moment. Um, we uh, are going to register them in here. You just react by the number in correspondence to the player. It's very it's very simple. Uh, I actually asked this yesterday, and if Ericsson does stay at Tottenham, is he a player that's worth considering at nine point five? Or do you think no? There are better options at nine point five, including uh, Sun, for example. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Yeah, I wouldn't. I'm. I'm not considering Ericsson though. No. Fair, fair enough. Um, I think I'd like to get in Jash Jash Thacker onto the show because, quite simply put, yeah. uh, he, I think he tried to come on the other day or something like that, and something went wrong. I can't remember. I'm sure he can explain and everything. Um, Jash Thacker, you are going to be live on air on the Elite FPL calling. Hello there. Hello, Jash. Can you hear us? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Can uh, we can hear us? Hi, nice, nice. How are you guys? Good show, good show. I'm really liking it. I guess it's the first time for me on a forum where I'm chatting and like you know discussing about FPL. Excellent. I, 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 I'm detecting an accent. There's one for you, John Harris. Uh, where where are you from? Uh, I guess after that German fiasco, I guess you should take one more try on it. <laughs> I'm, I got, I got an idea. Uh, yep. Yeah, <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting. <laughs> I was there. 
Um, I'm going to go India. Hey, of course, of course. There we go. <laughs> well, we got, I've got your team up on... Well, I don't know if Jason's got your team I've up on... I've got it, yeah. Uh, it's all up. But uh, it's very, very different. It's now 2-1 to uh, Tottenham... Uh, to, to buy, uh, yeah, to Tottenham, Bayern Munich. Just um, it doesn't matter. We've from got a, point of view. I don't know who scored. We've got a really super matter. chat from Dereco. Uh, su- super chat, Dereco oh, with fifteen pounds. Donated fifteen pounds. No super way, yeah. Dereco, yeah. mate. Thanks once that's, more for having me, lads. Thank you. That's BTW crazy. Steven, thank you so much. That's awesome. Really appreciate that. Thank you. But yeah, uh, so you, you, know, you need to run. you need to learn to be quiet. Because because it's reading that the message that he's just typed out. So when I say there's a super chat, just be quiet so it can read them out. Otherwise, you're talking over the the text to speech. Sorry, it's just. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you, Jack's Team is is very 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 different, and I like it. It's for people on audio. It's Robertson, Van Anholt, and Zinchenko. I'm assuming it's Ryan in goal because it's been cut off, but. Uh, oh, yeah. Townsend, Felipe Anderson, Fraser, Salah, and then up front of Delafe, Vardy, and Kane with a bench of El Hannity, Lundstrom, and Den Donker. I mean, I'm going to use Jason's line no city attack, Jash. <laughs> Actually, I just uh, changed my team from yesterday. I had a city attack with uh, Aguero on top, except uh, for Vardy. I just cha- and I had Pogba and. Uh, uh, I guess for 5 million that would be noble. So I just wanted a little more squad depth. And uh, I guess I have 1 million in uh, balance for Kane, uh, which I'm planning to uh, switch them for the whole season with uh, Obama on Kane and. You're still there, Josh? Yeah, I'm still there. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah we. Did you? Did you? Just cut off for a second there. You, you were saying about uh, Kane and swapping out to a Bami angle, vice versa. Uh, so I have like one million that I've kept at, as a step knee. So I guess first game I'll do, I'll uh, keep Kane as captain. Second game I'll keep uh, Obamayong as captain. And third game I'll keep uh, for the next three games, that is Bournemouth, Brighton and other City games that games I'll keep Aguero as captain or at least oh. as a Aguero Aguero that's a name I've not heard for a long long time on these streams <laughs> anyone would think he had a bad season last year <laughs> you know what I, I mean? think I think I think it's because Sterling just yeah. basically overshadowed him I mean with, we all remember the the famous story of, of your your hat trick captaincy against Watford last year and I think that just summed up the Sterling Aguero yeah. argument full stop yeah yeah absolutely it's more it's you know it's honestly i would say that um that sterling is is gonna be the uh i would i would say that sterling's gonna get more more minutes this season than aguero uh, josh uh, what what's with the van anholt uh pick i mean crystal palace are just a shambles i think at the back and yeah. you, you've decided to go with a crystal palace defender yeah, I guess Van Handolt uh, played uh, well for the last uh, in the last season for I guess like for three four game weeks. I guess he has potential for attacking uh, mm. points. Uh, it's still an uh, like you know it's still an open decision where I can change it for another five point five defender. I would like to go with Ashley Quetta if like you know I have a six million. Uh, for for I guess I guess uh, uh, Everton won't perform in the start of the season, and at the end of the day, it will be similar vibe as in it's Everton. They are not gonna perform, like you know, because it's I guess that all green uh, 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 wave of uh, fixtures is just an occasion for people to get into that Everton defense and later regret it. That's what I feel about Everton. Oh, that's, that's an intro. Have you, you you said you've got one million in the bank. Have you not just thought about just ploughing all your money into the team full stop? I guess I've been doing that since past three seasons, and uh, it it's a little difficult for like you know you have to take more of hits and you have to take change your team. So I'm planning to keep that one position intact for three premium strikers throughout the year. 
Are you not considering yeah. like are you not considering um Wan Bissaka at five point five the same value as Van Harnold? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, even I think that uh, United is being overlooked because of their past season. But uh, if Maguire comes, then they have a solid chance of a good defense. Yeah, because I, I would, uh, I would, I would pick myself. I would prefer Wan Bissaka, even if Maguire didn't join United over Van Harnold. That's just. Um, I guess I Van Bissaka is looking great in the pre-seasons also. Yeah, and that would be a like you know it would be a nice pick. Yeah, United has been humiliated quite a lot from all these teams like Bulls. And one second, what are you? I think Felipe Anderson is another one for me. I mean, I didn't own him last season, um, but seven million, you could easily own Zaha. You know, um, and I think you, I think you'd probably have um, better returns than a, a home to Man City with Felipe Anderson. Uh, yeah, of course, of course. You, so I've just uh, wanted a, a larger squad depth, but I guess that's an option to be can that can be changed. Okay. Felipe Anderson, but he has good pictures post uh, game week one. So like you know, he has four good pictures where like you know they can are in a good attacking form. Okay. Planning for section. Well, um, that's. Interesting. I, I interested in your team selection. Um, you are breaking up a little bit for me. Um, I think it may be a problem with your connection a little bit. Um, but I kind of I've I've made up made out what you've been saying, and I, I just think that I would go probably Wan Bissaka Zaha over Philippe Anderson Van Harnolt. Um, and obviously the Townsend pick is a is a, is a risk, but that's your one risk in your team. Um, so yeah, you've gone Vardy and Kane and uh, Steve. What did you what have you just seen? Uh, basically, Harry Kane was through, not quite one on one, and uh, basically he um, had the shot saved. So I've, I'm um, watching it through FPL goggles now. <laughs> I've just um, I've just read from Dane Palmer in chat. Um, he said that um, KDB is going to be back to his old self and score 180 to 200 points this year. Yeah, of course. I I I honestly agree with you. I agree with you that KDB is. Is going to be nailed in that. Well, he's going to be a, a front runner in that team. He's going to be a vital point, a uh, vital part of that team. Obviously, with Silver getting older now, and and uh, Pep just basically having. I think KDP is one of the first na- names in the team sheet. To be honest with you, the thing- uh, b- brilliant preseason, and I think if he can stay injury free, then he can he can do wonders this year. Yeah, uh, thank you, Josh, for uh, coming onto the air. I was just going to say about Kevin De Bruyne. Though. The thing with Kevin De Bruyne is the people have. If you are going to buy him. You basically just have to, and from game week one, you've got to stick with him throughout the whole season. You cannot, you cannot um, think, oh, he blanks versus West Ham, right? Get rid of him, and then no. because he's the kind of player that will probably get you a double-digit haul versus Tottenham, as an yeah. example. Yeah, I, I would say Kevin De Bruyne. You've got to have patience with the guy, and then you will reap the rewards of what Jason just said of two hundred points. If not then there's no point in owning whatsoever. Uh, Jason, I've got, we've got a bit of a, a special guest um, in the, the, the waiting room at the moment. It's FPL Penguin. I think uh, we need FPL to bring Penguin. him in. Yeah, absolutely. Let's bring him in. FPL Penguin, you're live on uh, the FPL call-in on Elite FPL. How are you doing? Hey, what's up? Hey, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I d- well, thank you. I detect a slightly northern accent. No, 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 uh, yeah. no, no. It's Irish, isn't it? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm English. English. Uh, Oh <laughs> right! Yeah, yeah. Well, no, no. Where, whereabouts? Whereabouts? You from, Penguin? Uh, should say near uh, Blackpool. Oh, there you go. It's a northern accent. Absolutely. Yep. There you go, Steve. Not, it's not German, Steve. Actually, Steve is not the first person to um, think I'm Irish. <laughs> but a few. Ah, people. there we are. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need to worry about it. I think I think I think Steve needs to stop guessing accent accents. I think the chat find it very amusing though. Um, but yeah, it's the most interesting Irish accent I've ever heard. Um, but welcome to the stream, FPL Penguin. You're literally all over the place. I see you. Um, I see I see you all on Instagram. You're like the king of Instagram, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I try my best on Instagram. I enjoy it, posting photos, uh, posts helping other people, other FPL players. Um, you know, with the teams, you know, and I enjoy your your, your guys' um, videos, Steve-O's live streams for the last uh, nine, nine days. I mean, mm. God, man, uh, in, insane. I've, I've enjoyed every single one, you know. I've enjoyed 
the whole of FP, uh, FPL elite, elite. <laughs> I can't bloody speak. <laughs> no, it's it's great. I mean, did you did you just dis- <laughs> did you discover us on Instagram then, or did you just find us through Twitter or just on YouTube or? Well, just... I started um, this profile. Uh, well, FPL Penguin mm. start this year, and I just um, I just type go on YouTube, type in FPL uh, FPL, and then you guys came. Well, obviously other accounts came up as well but okay i look to you guys and i like youtube channels i like when there's like for you like there's the three of you you dan and steve-o you know you know more people talking about more opinions i enjoy that in the youtube videos and you know i, I just enjoy, enjoy that you know more opinions and um on on teams and stuff and players who to bring in and who's good who's not good mm. things like that well, we... How long have um, how long have you been a uh, part of the Discord group for? Oh, I think since uh, July this month. So, how how is it helping you with your decision making? I it's really helped a lot, to be honest with you. You guys, well, everybody in the FPL community, you know, especially I'm in my own little Instagram group, um, mm. which you guys are in as well. Yeah, uh, it's very FPL's active. Life, yeah. And, I, uh, but you guys have really helped a lot, you know, with your opinions and everyone, everyone that that's in this discord as well, that, you know, sharing their thoughts, their, uh, opinions, who to bring in, who's good, who's, you know, you know what I mean? But things like that. So I've really, this channel, you guys have really helped a lot with my team and, um, uh, making what well, I hope <laughs> are good decisions, but I know, I know the better than mine, what, what, um, well, a few, quite a few things that you said that I wouldn't have thought of if I've never found your channel. We're never gonna, we're never gonna, we're never gonna come across as a tips channel. We're never gonna try and, you know, mm. give you these stats that you've never heard of before and try to sell them to you in a package. And I mean, we we're just interested in bringing you guys onto the show to talk about why why you've picked the players you've picked and the thinking, the thought process behind it so that other people can hear that and then take and, and make their own informed decision from it. And, you know, we highlight players that are on the peripheral. We highlight players that, you know, are, are the cusp of being an absolute bargain. We Obviously, we've talked about um, the likes of Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Um, we've, mm-hmm. We talked about Ross Barkley with Direco, a Chelsea fan. I mean, he's done well in preseason. Obviously, KDB's been brought up in chat. I mean, these players are going to be in people's teams. Um, and, exactly. you know, it's just it's just trying to get you away from, you know, just the echo chamber of the template. And and I'm seeing I'm seeing that people are trying to break away from it. And and that's only a good thing for FPL because we we don't want everyone to have the same team. But let's be yeah. honest. It's going to be a lot of. <laughs> You've literally just posted your team up on the Rate My Team Penguin. But what I wanted to ask you before we look into this, because we will look into this team, I yeah. want to know are, what players have you chosen which you would never have thought of before joining the Discord? I'll give you my examples. Mine would be Wesley and Sabellos. I would never in a million years have picked them, but based on conversations I've heard during the live streams, I'm thinking, do you know what? These guys sound like players I need to own. Is there anybody like that that comes to mind? Uh, well, with Sabellos, I, I've you may see I've, I've put him in that team since mm. you've been live streaming. I a lot of people were going on about him when he signed for Arsenal or about to sign for him, and I was thinking, oh, is he going to be like a, a CDM? You know, in that if he's, if Arsenal play a four-two-three-one, but. What I'm hearing now, he could play like a cam, you know, centre attacking midfielder, mm. and I'm kind of intrigued now. You know, as you see, um, see there on the, on the uh, photo, on the picture, I, I just I kind of want to jump on that hype train, that you know, that bandwagon for uh, Sabellos. Mm. I just there's, there's I don't nothing know. more I like, nothing more yeah. satis- there's nothing more satisfying than getting mm. a player that starts the season <laughs> running like like that that bargain player that uh, getting those points and then everyone hits jumps on the bandwagon after you there's nothing more better than that and um you know a player like Sebalos i mean people are you know he's that kind of fabregas esque player you know playing in that sort of role and he's got the all around game i've seen i've seen what he can do we obviously we haven't seen it in the premier league but at 5.5 you can take the risk you really can take the risk at 5.5 it- 
it, interestingly, Penguin, I'm looking at this team, I'm thinking, I've seen this team somewhere before. Oh, yeah, it's my team, apart from Wilson <laughs> and and De Gea. But I, I'm i really, really interested in this setup. I, I think that it's it, it's good. I, I like the... What do you think of this De Gea Wambasaka a double up, Jason? That's different. It's I mean, I mean, I mean, he's got triple United first and foremost. I mean, he, you know, with Greenwood there on his bench. Um, I, I started the season, like I said, kind of thinking United. Well, started the preseason thinking no one's going to be looking at United, and then obviously, you know, the the preseason matches happened. Wan Bissaka just looks absolutely amazing in a United shirt, and I know it's preseason. I'm going to calm down. Don't worry, chat. I'm not going to get you know, hyped up about it. But wan is, like I said, he's not going to turn into a spud overnight. He's not going to all of a sudden not play the same way he played for Palace. Um, and I think he he is going to get those bonus points. He is going to do great things at United. And Maguire is a big one. If Maguire signs De Gea and wan who knows, they could, they could end up getting a spree of clean sheets. They could end up getting mega points for you. So I can see why you've done it. Um, I think it is a risk doubling up on United defenders at home to Chelsea. I think there's there's always that chance. Obviously, Chelsea have you know they're 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 a decent team. Uh, they, even though they've going through a transition period, I still think that there's goals in that team there. And um, it will it will need um, United defence to be on on top of their A game really. And um, obviously, with that awful injury to Bailly, um now which is um very disappointing so i'm hoping that that's gonna really kick on these uh mcguire uh the mcguire deal yeah i've got to be honest with you um i did go for De Gea. um steve i saw that team that i posted uh last night and uh i know you said you were a bit surprised me bringing uh De Gea in um that you said last night um on your live stream steve I seem to remember we a bit like what well, a name that you the first name you saw that that sprung out to you. Yeah, it's because it's because the, the main reason why when I do like the live streams and you see something which is just so it's because it's different. I I I, I like it. I think I was probably surprised from a good point of view that someone like yourself has gone with someone with a proven track record, a bit like, you know, Tommy and Nick Pope or whatever, with such a high percentage of saves per game and stuff. And I, I think based on Jason's comments and a lot of Man United fans are coming live on air, that they can see Man United having a really good season. And I just think that David De Gea is being potentially overlooked. And you've actually got the cojones to say, do you know what? I'm going to go with him. No, I said, I mean, I mentioned De Gea's uh, name this, you know, at the start of the stream. And... I really am tempted. I really, really am tempted, and um, I'll keep playing around with with uh, with templates and and seeing how I can um, how I could squeeze them in. But yeah, I respect that. I really do, Penguin. I think it um, is it is a risk going for both two United, you know, a defender and a goalkeeper. Um, but you know, I I do think Manchester United will be a lot more defensive this year if they do sign Maguire. You know they're going to be a lot more of a solid team at the back compared yeah. to last season. But but listen, Penguin. But, sorry, sorry to butt in, but it is a no, ri- no, no. it is a risk. But you've got is, you've got Salah is. as captain at the moment. You've got Sterling in your team, and you've, you've got, got Kane. Kane. And you've got Kane and Wilson <laughs> in your team. You you can afford to take a risk with those players in because they are going to be the highly owned players that everyone's going to have. Um, okay, Kane is obviously on the rise now, but you know still. These players are going to be highly owned, um, and you can afford to take the odd risk. Um, and that's are we are we seriously saying? I mean, am I going to actually sit here now and say? I mean, chat, you can you can laugh, but is De Gea with with potentially Maguire in front of him, you know, and Wan Bissaka in that defence a risk? I mean, we all know what De Gea can do in goal. He's an absolute oh. wall. I think the reason why uh, Penguin has actually gone with Wan Bissaka is because his team name in the Cash Mini League is Obi Wan Bissaka. <laughs> so I think he has to stick with that. There we go. <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> so, I mean, FPL Boone has made a comment in chat about the fact that the one thing that he's not a fan of is the fact that you're starting, uh, well, you're having a starting 4.5 uh, midfielder and then yeah. Donker. You're not I worried about that? that? Uh, well, I said this is draft number three hundred now, so anything <laughs> could change. Um, 
I just keep changing it. Like, but I'm I'm just obsessed changing it. It's every friendly that comes on, and when a player does well, I mean, it's crazy. I just want the season to start already. <laughs> I really do. But De Donker, um, I, no, he's he's gonna. If I if I did have him, be on my bench, obviously. But as I said, it's still another draft. I'm just trying to tinker around with it, and I still think there's another three or four players. But as I said, Sterling Salah for me, I can't I can't take them out. Sterling, I don't want to downgrade to KDB or B Silva. I don't want to downgrade Wilson to King. I feel I feel confident, and I want to keep players like Wilson and Sterling. You know, I'm a mm. team and Salah, obviously. Mm. I just, you know, the big hitters and, you know, with points. Ah, I just can't uh, Ryan, take them out. Uh, Ryan uh, is asking in chat, aren't you worried about Man United's fixtures? They could easily concede in six of their opening nine games. Uh, does that not concern you regarding uh, the, the, the oh, possibility? I'll see it. Chelsea, no Wolves, Leicester, West Ham, Arsenal. Yep, bloody hell. Um, it, does, it does concern me, but... I don't know. I, d- I just I y- said I could change that team, but Yolo, better, right? I think it's be- better to have one United like defender, or goalkeeper. You know what I mean? Just, just I think doubling up is is a risk. As you say, it is a risk. It's um, as I said, this team could change. Two I'd, two you know. two in the Tottenham game, by the way. Oh, yeah. by Munich. Oh, yeah. mm. Alfonso Davies. I mean, Scre- the, the, a not- screamer of a goal, apparently. I, I, it's, it's not that great, but that's just uh, me. That's just my opinion. Uh, Pe- Penguin, you've you've parted with your uh, your ten pound uh, to join the Elite FPL Cash Money League, and uh, I don't really want to plug it because I know there's about half a billion people that want to join it, and I know Jason and um, <laughs> well, struggling with everything. But Jason, do you want to plug it or not? Um, so if you are interested in the Cash League, um, there is a section on our Discord where you can apply to join it. The, oh, audio, it, it? It, yeah, if oh, I know, oh, no, I'm just talking to the chat right now. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, if if you want to, if you want to join it, we're, I'm I'm trying to be selective. As I'm going to be a little bit selective from from now on, really. Um, but there is there is a form there. You can fill it out, and you <laughs> may or may not get a PayPal. Uh, request and we'll we'll but you need to be a part of the community you need to be actively a part of the community you can't just be a uh, you know someone that's on the fringe and just uh just wants to join it and just go away again this is um you know this is this this mini league is for you guys it's for you guys to come on and talk to us about how you get on we're going to talk about your teams when we discuss the mini league so we need you to be active um in members of the community if you're going to join it so yeah yeah, yeah, Penguin. You, you are now. You are part. You have been accepted. Jason's opened the door for yourself. But in all seriousness, how much are you looking forward to this um, particular cash mini league that we're going to be uh, focusing all our efforts on next season? Oh, I'm, I'm, um, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, and uh, I don't know how many people are in um, the the league at the moment, but I can imagine quite a, quite a few. But I'm looking forward to it. I, I like good mm. competition. Um, I'm really taking this, you know, FPL this season really, really seriously. I mean, in past seasons, I've been like, I, well, taking it seriously, but not as seriously that I want to take it now. So it's probably the first time in about eleven years. And um, I just, it. I just want to say uh, while you're talking about the uh, the, the cash league, is mm-hmm. Mark and Tiger in chat is actually saying that he's he's not going to take part, which is good. I mean, it's fine if you don't want to. That's fine. But we always find that an extra bit of you know rivalry and competition when there's a little bit of money. I mean, it's ten pounds, and it's the top four places get prize prizes. So the top four places. So even if you're not anywhere near the first place you still got a chance of getting fourth or third um I'm manager of the month i'm manager of the month we we do we do a manager of the month and not only are we going to give away uh, elite fpl mugs you heard it right ladies and gentlemen or mainly mainly gentlemen um <laughs> elite fpl mugs we're going to be giving away 10 pounds every month to so basically you're going to get your money back for who uh, whoever finishes on the highest score each month um obviously the prize breakdown will be decided um on the 8th of august when we close the entries uh, Peng- penguin i just picked up on something there so you, you, you've been playing the game for 11 years but this is the first time you're going to be taking it quote unquote really really seriously what, can you just elaborate on what you you mean by that oh well <laughs> i don't know i just 
I think obviously it's just a game. It's it's good fun. It's it's one of them. I don't, I don't know. I just think because it's the first time, well, first proper season, and I've got this account, you know, FPL Penguin, and this is just going to be my well, basically my first proper season use will using this FPL Penguin account. Well, something like that without sounding too confusing. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, I understand. So, in your previous history, what's your? I'm not that I give a damn about the ranks, to be honest with you. But what, just generally, what's your average ranking then? Oh my god, um, it's pretty bad, pretty bad. This is why I'm saying taking it seriously. Um, last season, I was in like the seven hundred thousand okay. range, but this this season, I've I, well, I was known. I've always been known for the last few years. Use my chips early like triple captain I, I don't think i've in the past i had the patience to wait or you know wait for double game weeks wait for the right moment but some of them did pay off i, I did have like an aguero one i did have a, <laughs> a bloody ben Teki one when he played for liverpool and he did score so <laughs> i was all right with that but um but yeah this year i'm going to use my chips wisely but that's what i mean by take it seriously this year you know use my chips wisely and yeah. you know really concentrate and not take many well not i don't take many transfer mm-hmm. hits i usually just do like last season on odd, on odd game weeks if i'm really desperate a minus four i didn't take one minus eight at all or above um but i'm, I'm really taking it serious this this year well, yeah. well i mean just to divulge a bit more i mean are you looking more into like statistics and all that malarkey or is it more the fact that you're going to be taking on more on board more information specifically from our discord group mm, yeah yeah that's that's what i was saying um earlier on but because uh, you as you guys you know it, it helps you know opinions everybody you guys and i just come straight on here you know say every game week and i could just well if you come on every game week and and i just listen to your opinions your thoughts, how you guys got on, or what your teams are like, things like that. And I think this will really help me this season. Um, when I take it seriously, FPL this season, it, this channel, you guys will help me a lot. I do. I hope you. I don't really do think that. Oh, with my team. Let's get you into the top fifty k, shall we, Penguin? <laughs> <That's right. laughs> in your um, in 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 your, in every draft that you do, which players are your absolute certainties without fail that are going to be in that game week one team what that's in the team now uh, well just in, in every draft that you do which oh, players are always there no matter what well the sterling sellers um you know the trent i, I did have robo but i took him out for one basaka but i don't know if we're gonna regret it now <laughs> i do what? like sinchenko i do and i'm very surprised is he just like nearly six percent owned by at the minute oh really I'm, yeah <laughs> I'm very surprised it's that low, being 5.5 million. And I thought, you know, with Mendy injured for, is it to the end of August? As it's Zinchenko, I feel like it's got good stats. Three assists last season and yeah. is it 14 league games? Yeah. yeah. And, I ju- you know, he's, he's a million cheaper than Laporte. He's about 0.5 cheaper than Walker. I just, I just like Zinchenko and I just think... You know he's gonna be a regular starter, and who knows he could be a, still be a regular starter if when Mendy comes back. Yeah. Um, I just I just like Sinchenko, and, and he's a good budget defender. You're not you the know, only one and... that likes Sinchenko, Penguin. <laughs> 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 no, you you're right, you're right. Yeah, I I don't know about Harry Kane. It's gonna be in and out, but I do want uh, Wilson will stay. I um I do I I think. When he signed, I did set that, that contract um, extension when he was linked to leave to like West Ham or, um, and he scored two goals after he signed it. Uh, it was against Wimbledon, I think, in a friendly. And um, I just, I just really want to keep Wilson. I really do. I do like him. Uh, D- Telemans. Uh, there was a debate either to get him or Perez, both being six point five. I mean, Vardy's. Nine million. I mean, it's just so much money, and that's why I want to try and have at least just one Leicester player. And if I can't have Vardy, I'd love to have either Tillmans or Perez. I just think it depends where Perez is going to play. Is he going to play just behind Vardy, or is he going to play in a four-four-two, or is he going to play on the wing? I mean, there's so many people saying 
wondering where he's going to play, what position for Leicester. I don't know what you guys think. I think um, off, off the top of my head, I thought I read that he was playing out on the or out on the wing, whichever side, the left or the right, in a in a four two three one formation. Mm. I understand, mm. but. I would have thought his better. I would have thought his better position would be uh, just behind Jamie Vardy. Yeah, definitely. Maybe the maybe the swapping position. I think I think you're going to see that in Leicester. I think you'll probably see those those three midfielders kind of fluid. They'll move around a little bit, um, you know. And um, obviously Tillemans may drift out. You know, Madison will be on the left, and um, it'd be nice to see Perez behind Vardy. I think he. Um, I think he's got a great potential behind to get get assists and goals. To be fair. I think they've got a really good squad. They, they, have, they have. They have they got. They have got. They have. Really, they have yeah, good yeah. managing Brendan Rodgers, and I think you know. Mm. I just expect phew, top seven. You know, something like that for Leicester. Really do. I just think they could surprise one or two. You know, big teams off the top six. I re- I really do feel you know. Yeah, underdogs. You know, underdogs. Absolutely. But with Wolves uh, being in Europa League, um, I, it's. I think they'll go further than Burnley, how they did last year. I mean, that was crazy, that. I mean, three, um, you know, qualification, you know, fixtures. Unlucky to lose to Olympiacos last season. Mm. Um, but I think Wolves, I think they uh, signed an, a strike from AC Milan and they got an, another guy on loan from Real Madrid. So they're getting some good cover, some good depth mm. um, in, in some places, but... I do, I do think they'll get into the group stage, and but it depends how they do in the league. That's the thing, and I'm trying to avoid players like Jimenez and uh, Jota, and which is a shame. And and players like Doherty, I know he's kind of injured at the minute, but seeing him, his ownership quite down, and when he was quite popular last season, it's it's quite sad to see that because you know a lot of people going for Wolves players. Mm. Uh, but, but... Bobby, Bobby Cole in chat is uh, confirming that uh, when he last watched uh, Leicester, they were playing with a diamond and Perez and Vardy were at the front two. Uh, right. uh, just just a question, a couple of questions for you, actually, Penguin, while we've got live on air. Okay. Uh, what are your thoughts about Lucas Moura instead of Harry Kane? That's from Norwegian View. Uh, I had him in my team. I've been having him quite a few of my draft mm. teams, and I had him in last night when you were uh, showing my team last night on the live stream. Um. I was going to have him instead of Kane. Now, I think he, he's been doing well in pre-season. He's been doing well in pre-season. And with Son still suspended and he's coming back for game week three for the Newcastle game, Son. Um, I think he, I just, I don't know. I'm, mm. I'm stuck between him and Kane. But I think I might just go back to Mora now. So, so you can switch to Son game week three? Well, yeah. Is that, it it, is that what you... Son, the plan that well, I think Son, a lot of people when, are going to have. Sorry, when, when Son comes back in game week three, will Mora, do you think, go back on the bench? Or do you think, what do you think? That's a million dollar question. Ask, <laughs> ask Boona. Boona and Brew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll answer that question. We'll find out <laughs> in a second. I think, I think that... Uh, it depends how Mora plays in the first two games. Yeah. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Just just to let you guys know, the Spurs game ended 2-2. It's now straight to penalties, and uh, Alderweireld has just scored the, I believe, the first penalty. So I'll there keep you, you up to date with what's going on. <clears throat> no, I do like Mora. I do like Mora. And as I said, I'd say it's guaranteed to start game week one and two, but it depends with game week three and onwards when Sun comes back. That's the thing. So... But yeah. as I said, this is draft number 300 and odd, yeah. so anything happens. <laughs> well, FPL F- Boone is straight in there, basically <laughs> saying Lucas Moore has been a bit poor and Sun should come straight back into the team. Mm, I imagine that, yeah. Uh, another another uh, question for you, and I was going to actually ask you this. Were you somebody that was on the Everton bandwagon and has now backed off out of it because of the whole news about uh, Dreesia Gay leaving and now you're concerned that Everton won't keep the clean sheets and obviously Zuma not being there as well? Defenders-wise, yes, I backed off. But attackers-wise, knowing that they've basically got Keane from Juventus, uh, I don't know what's happening with uh, Zaha from Palace. Mm. If, um, but I do like the look of Keane. I think he might start uh, instead of Calvert-Lewin. Maybe. It depends. A lot of people saying that. 
he could start. Um, I do, I do like the look of Keane. I might give him a shot, but who knows? Uh, but defenders-wise, I'm, I'm just saying, as you said, with the transfers that happened, with that lad going to uh, PSG, I, I just, I, I, I can't trust any Everton defenders now. Mm. Especially, uh, definitely not. No. Mm. A lot of people having Dinya in there. Their, their teams and Coleman. No. It's it's you are really you're really hoping for those attacking returns and you, you're not you're not going to be sure upon your uh, your clean sheet potential of those players. I don't think come come the start of the season. I think there's a very big worry there now. Um, but uh, Ericsson's apparently missed a penalty. Yeah, it's just it's just missed a penalty. The one the one player the one player that I would have put my uh, my house on scoring. Well, o- other, been... other other than Kane, of course. Well, Harry Kane is just stepping up right now. Oh, God, the questions, uh, when well, uh, Peng- Penguin, a quick, a quick question for you. Uh, are you going to be joining us live on uh, Sunday for the LE FBL community team selection? And Harry Kane has just scored. Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're, we're, so. we, we just want to get all our opinions on um, basically your guys and uh, okay. community team, basically. I'm mindful that we've got a few other people in the waiting room. So, yeah, so fine, Penguin, yeah. Penguin, thank you ever so much for joining us on tonight's show. It's been been great to hear your input and yeah, sharing thank your you team. Thank you for having me on. No, you're, you're more no, than welcome. You. Hopefully see you get to speak to you again very soon. Thank you. Absolutely. See you guys. Cheers, Penguin. <laughs> so we've got a few other people in the waiting room. Um, but before we do that, I just want to read out a few comments in the chat because I know you guys have been chatting away and been asking a few things. And uh, hello to Squally D in chats. We do read through the chat. I do, I do try to read everything the chat's talking about. I may not say it because we've got a caller on or Steve-O's talking away about Burnley or something and about how they're going to win the Premier League. But other than that, so we've got Nofel Ben Lamelem in chat. I hope I've said your name properly. All eyes on Barkley, yes. I mean, my eyes are starting to drift over towards Barkley at the moment, especially after hearing Direco talk about him. Hicks 76 in chat, Vince Chapman, Resi Desi with that earlier uh, donation, which you much appreciated. And, um, you know, guys, absolutely um, just great to have you guys here. Um, naughty penalty, apparently, for Harry Kane. Um so if you're new to the channel and you like it, go ahead and hit that like button. Ryan0605 in chat. I don't know. We've got a lot of Ryans, haven't we? We seem to have a lot of Ryans in the Elite FPL community. Um, so, yeah, I like the way you've made yourself have a little identification tag, 0605. I'll try and remember that. Uh, Dino Bino in chat as well. One Life Soccer TV and and Anarag, of course, is in there as well. But, um, yeah, do you want to – should we get someone else on? I want to get One Life Soccer on because I've got his team up on – well, my screen now. Oh, He's just posted that? it. It's uh, at 2104. And I'd like to get him on the uh, live on air. So one live soccer. You need to unmute your mic and turn the stream off and we'll get you live on air. Oh, I'm going to do it. Am I, Jason? There oh, no. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> there you go. Uh, one live soccer. You are... No, you're not. Wow, this is... Uh... I'll do it if you want. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Show me how it's done. What, one, one live soccer TV. You're live on the uh, FPL call in. Welcome to the uh, show. How are you doing today? Hi guys. Yeah, pleasure. Pleasure to talk to you guys. Been watching you since game week 14 last season. Really? Um, All wow. the way back. <laughs> oh, that's wow. a long time. That's uh, ten game weeks after our first ever youtube youtube yeah what what brought you to us uh well you guys just remind me a lot of of me and my mates to be honest you know we're we're football mad we're fpl mad um we have a very competitive cash league we all put 50 pound in 50 50 quid yeah yeah so it's very aggressive and um i was always I I, i used to watch fpl family i was watching andy let's talk fpl but I wanted I wanted a forum where it was it was like this, where people could call in and have a chat with the host and and just have some banter. And, and so when I saw the way you guys were set up, it reminded you know it just it just it was exactly what I was looking for. So one one life been... one life soccer TV. I just want to say you on about banter. You wait, come game week one. This place is going to be absolutely banter city. Honestly, it's going to exactly. be it's going to be crazy. Exactly. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I, I can't really? wait because the um, the the uh, 
the competitive side of me will come out where <laughs> at the moment I'm just like, for instance, with your team up on screen, oh yeah, Holopass is a really good pick. Pereira, that's an interesting one. By the time game week one comes on, I'll be like, ah. Rubbish, nice rubbish, easy. rubbish. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, in the league in the league that we're part of you know we we analyze people's money in yeah. the bank we, we yeah. try and analyze if people have made transfer we get our calculators out to work out exactly who they brought in and stuff like that so that's that's what i that's what we're used to doing so i, I hope this is going to be the same how, how many people participate in this 50 pound mini league it's such a, a lot 50. of money yeah it's 15 of us and 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 the thing wow. is we reward the winners so we literally it's it's basically 750 in the pot the winner gets 700 and second gets his money back that's how competitive it is wow. and, and, and have you have you ever won it i won it for the first time last season i was telling well you when yeah for the first time last season i was finished that, 2000 that... in the world and wow. you know, 2000 in the world he smelt he smelt yeah. victory now he's seen the elite fpl cash league and he's thinking <laughs> i'm gonna take it by storm i like it i like it <laughs> You, you ended 2,000th in the world. I mean, was there any point where you were... At, what was your highest point last season? That, I think I think my highest point was like 1,000-something. But um, so you, wow. to, I, had a, I had a bad last three game weeks. I was actually in your community league. I think I finished 10th in your in your community league. Wow. Very it's good. Crazy. Very good. It's crazy to think you finished 10th and you ended up 2,000th in the world. That's yeah, that, crazy. That league, your league is crazy. That league you had there. I mean, even Jason. Uh, you know, that's what that's what appealed to me. That it wasn't just guy who chatting about FPL. You also had somebody that was at the time, I think, like two hundred for something in the world. Yeah. At the time. I went up to I think eighty seventh at one point, wasn't I, Stevo? Yeah, <laughs> something I crazy. I don't, it's, I don't, it's I don't crazy. care, Jason. I'm yeah. still bitter. <laughs> I'm still bitter about the Trent Alexander Arnold Robertson double up and you. Yeah, you get the idea. That's right, that's um, right, Steve. It's fine. So what do you think? think? What do you think of the team? What do you think of my team there? It's it, it's 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 different. And straight away, exactly like Penguin. Can you do you want to talk to us about the David de Gea and Juan Bissaka double up? Yeah. I, again, I think I'm. I I don't really like the cheap goalkeepers myself. I like to have a goalkeeper that I think is going to be consistent. Last season, I had Pickford all season. Um, and this year, with the signings United have made, Juan Bissaka, Maguire, um, I, I just think they're going to be a little bit more sturdy at the back. And De Gea is a fantastic keeper, anyway. So if he has a bit more of a stronger defence in front of him, I think I think he could be a sneaky value there at five point five. Uh, just to let everybody know, uh, Tottenham have finally won a cup under Pochettino, which means that he's won something, which means that he can now it's take not, over. It's not a cup. It's not a cup. <laughs> it's not a cup it's a friendly uh, don't give no, Boona no, no. don't give Boona something to scream about God. well he won't scream and, because and I'm, I'm, I'm a big Tottenham fan myself by the way oh yeah <laughs> and, okay okay all right <laughs> taken over by Tottenham fans um, but I just want to say I just want to say I just had a quick look right there on my phone and we do you know that our elite FPL podcast league our open community league guess how many pages we've got full full pages of entrance, Steve. Do you want to guess? Don't look. I looked at the other day. I'm not going to look. I reckon it was. I reckon we're up to about seven pages now. No one here. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the free one. How so many players on each page? I think it's fifty, it's isn't it? 50. I, I, you don't want to have a bad start. Like me and you are going to be under so much pressure. We don't want to be eleven or twelve pages down on our own podcast league. That would be like, oh my god. Um, but yeah, God, twelve pages. That is really like I was shocked when I just saw that, guys. There's a lot of you guys joining the uh, the community league. But it's queued up to you guys because it just shows. As I said, you the way you do this stream with the, and the way you've gone into Discord now, it's it really appeals to to us it's different from what anyone else is doing so it's, it's real kudos to you guys and, and and this setup you've got that was a goal straight away from the beginning one life soccer i mean we're just we're just trying to give something different um to the fpl community and it's just going to grow and grow and oh my god boo brew has just tipped us five pounds and guess no. what <laughs> brew donated five pounds yeah. through super chat Come on, uh, your Spurs. I don't want to speak because apparently a message gets played, but I C can't even. Come hear the on, message. you Spurs, he says. In okay, okay, well, 
Thank you ever so much, Brew. Just, rem- just reminding us again that Spurs have won something this year. <laughs> um, back, back to back to one life soccer and yeah. uh, Thank you. The, 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 the I just want to pick up on. I mean, the, the two things that stand out, not just because they're kit, but Pereira and Holobas. A bit Tell like us your you, thoughts uh, on that. Th- yeah, a bit like you, Steve. I, I, I really look at the history of fixtures when I'm picking mm. players. And so, you know, last season, this exact fixture was one, I believe, 2 nil by Watford and Piera scored. So I'm, 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 a, I'm a bit superstitious like that. I think certain players play well against certain teams. So, you know, I've gone for a punt there. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> sure. Fair enough. I mean, it's fair enough. I mean, Holobas has always been a. I've always liked Holobas, but it's just a bit of a card magnet for me. He's he's so susceptible for getting those but yellow cards. Did. Yeah. But he did start last season quite strongly as well, though. He did, and he's on set pieces. I mean, he, he is. He, I mean, he's an outside pick. He's a peripheral, isn't he? He's one of those players that you can have in, you know, budget and, it's, you know, it's. I don't know. I just. I. I like. I like your team. And it's all. It, I'm going to keep repeating myself. You're allowed to have. Well, I, I, I would I class De Gea as a risk? I don't know if I would actually. You ain't got one. Yeah, you have got one per second. Yeah, I would probably would say that you've kind of gone more than one risk here. <clears throat> but you go with gut feeling. If you've got a gut, fe- you could, if you've got a gut feeling mm-hmm. that. So I mean, how many times Stevo said last season when he was chasing me, he he had a gut feeling yeah. to do a move, didn't do the move, or. <laughs> and it, and it and just backfired. So if you've got a gut feeling, man, yeah. absolutely go with it. Hold it. Cherish it. Love it. Yeah. <clears throat> and then going with Kane, I, I desperately wanted Kane in there because mm. he allows the uh, the sort of fluctuation with him and Abamyang. I think game week two, Abamyang is a, is a captaincy choice. So the only way, you know, if I get Kane captain first game and then change it to Abamyang second game, that's what I'm looking at. The the, the question I need I, I want to ask is so. What draft number is this? Um, to be honest, I've been tweaking it. The, the biggest tweak for me is that I normally play three five two, so mm. I, I, I couldn't quite find you know a good formation to, fitting in five strong midfielders. So I, you know, even though I'm normally a three five two man, I've gone four four two this time. So that's that's been the biggest tweak for me is the formation rather than the the number of players and tweak. Well, that's interesting. So. Oh, oh, what do you reckon? I don't believe this. I don't believe this. We've got another. We've got another t- super chat for one ninety nine from Joel Street. Loving the stream, lads. Joel, thank you ever so much for thank that. You. That's that's much appreciated. You don't you don't need to do that. Thank you ever so much. We we're getting getting a lot more than we anticipated from this super chat malarkey um but yeah, yeah. sorry t- um yeah that's that's can I, be, can I be honest with you guys for just one thing that was on my mind and it's quite funny actually so go for it when steve because i said i started watching you game week 40 it was always jason steve and dan and then all of a sudden steve started doing these the single podcast and mm. for, for, for for a large moment i thought it was almost like a breakout you know a boy band and, and one of the lads is great <laughs> trying to do his own thing so for a long time i actually thought steve was trying to break out and maybe do his own thing but he's actually what he was doing is just showing his passion and you know doing those streams and growing the community and i think i think it was excellent but i was worried at first steve i thought he was trying to break away from the lads no 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 no, no. I, can't, I can't um i can't escape uh jason especially if it weren't for him this wouldn't uh, be here now <laughs> no but in, in 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 all seriousness i i i really do appreciate that and um the reason why I kept doing it is because exactly what you just said. I was so passionate. I just want to. Sh- I wanted to show uh, what was going through my mind at the time of basically doing the live streams, um, and my thought process is really at the end of the day we were we're three um, full time working lads, and it was yeah. it's quite difficult getting the three of us together on a regular on a daily basis. So I just thought, well, yeah. if I've got the opportunity, then I'm just going to do it. So. Really appreciate yeah. the kind words there. Uh, just, just one quick question, One Life Soccer. What's the likelihood of this being your game week one team? Yeah, um, the only one I had doubts on was Walker Peters. I, I like everybody else. I'm not going to change anything else. It was just Walker Peters. And now that I've, I think I've heard today, Ori has got injured and maybe Foyf, something, something, obviously Foyf is being suspended. He's stretched off. Or stretched. So I think Walker Peters is nailed. So to be honest with you, I think you're looking at my my team i might change my well, bench there's a, 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 there's something 
there's something yeah. that's you, the the chat have actually said um we've got Bree Sutcliffe in chat has said um yeah. you, you got no playing bench um well that's i mean it's true well, greenwood would get minutes greenwood yeah. would, you would imagine greenwood would, would get minutes absolutely but i think Bree does have a slight point there with 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 your bench um you are hedging your bets with your starting 11 aren't you really um, starting 11, yeah and I think a lot of people are this season. I think you, yeah, I agree. I think they are, and I think there's, you know, there's not there's a lot of four 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 point five benches that you see now, and it's just because they want to get squeezed the most out of their starting eleven, and for the most part, it does pay off. But there's, you know, as the season goes on, you really do need to rely on that bench. Obviously, yeah, anything can happen, but I'd I'd normally, hope that I don't normally... yeah do it this way but yeah. the money the way that FPL have priced some of those mid-range players it's it's very difficult to have a bench at the beginning of this season Bruce heading off Bruce thank you ever so much for everything you've done and um, yeah, go, you. go and celebrate um, Tottenham's win and see you soon hopefully um, so yeah. yeah I mean yeah I, I completely I can I, I, I get the point that um, that Bree's making in, in chat I completely do but I think it's you know it's 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 the common thing at the moment that I'm seeing. I'm seeing a lot of a lot of non well not non playing necessarily, but um, reduced minutes uh, players on the bench. Yeah, yeah, just to yeah. squeeze those funds. Good stuff. But yeah, guys, keep up yeah. the good work. As I said, I'm here. I'm, I literally Absolutely. log on every day to the Discord and stuff, so I'm sure you'll hear from me again soon. Excellent. Thank you ever so much. One life uh, pleasure having you on. Really is brilliant. Okay. Um, Cheers. so. Amazing. So basically, um, this is this is. I've got to um, pick up my fiance um, from work uh, shortly. So Stevo, I leave it up to you what you want to do. Um, I, we'll, we'll, we'll call it a night. I don't want to. Yeah. Um, I don't want to. Uh, <laughs> we, I know we've got we we've, we've got time for one more. I know a million's been waiting in there. I know Hot Sauce has been waiting in there. We've got one more caller. Time for one more caller. So very quickly, five minutes. Let's get someone on. Let's get uh, Amelia on. Amelia, we're going to drag you in, Amelia. Um, sorry to Hot Sauce. We'll get you on next time. I promise. Um, we can't. We're just running out of time here. So, Amelia, um, Amelia, you're live on the uh, the FPL call in. Uh, welcome. Can you hear me? Yes. Thank you. Welcome to the show, my friend. And um, yes, um, take it. What What do you want to talk about this evening? You to talk uh, about your well... team. Yeah, my, my team. I posted it a little over an hour ago. It's I think at twenty eleven. <laughs> I see we'll it. I see it. No, I found it. I found it. There we go. <laughs> super super fast this time. There we go. It's amazing what you can do when you're in a rush. Um, Ryan in goal. For those of you listening on the audio, we've got Ryan in goal. Van Dyke, Alexander Arnold, Zinchenko, Cathcart. We got another Watford player. God, what is going on with Watford? Is it suddenly everyone's had an epif- epiphany? I think I think you're looking for the name Block FPL. He's been an advocate of uh, Watford ah, defender. I see. I saw Block mm. FPL. I think Block FPL was in chat earlier on, actually. Um, Sebaos, uh, Sebaos, uh, De Bruyne, Sterling, Fraser, Salah, that midfield. Wow, wow. And then Delefeo up front. So, first and foremost, was it Block FPL, a million that has convinced you, or is it your own gut feeling? Um, well, it's temporary. I'm not convinced yet. It's just a placeholder for the moment. Okay. So, um, so Cathcart, I owned him last season. Um, uh, let's be honest. Um, well, no, it was Kiko Familia actually. I did own Cathcart as well, but well, I, I've got a bad history when it comes to Watford defenders and owning them. Um, have you, you know, what, what's your, so you, so out of the two, Delefeu, Cathcart, I, which one would you change first? Uh, cast card. Easily. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you said that. Um, so, mm-hmm. so you set. So the four five one formation. Um, with the obviously you got money there in midfield. Um, yeah. so so t- talk me through it. What made you um decide to go for that formation? It was it because of the 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 outlier being Sabios at five point five. Um, and just the way that the, obviously the the way that the budgets signed stretched out with Fraser there as well. Do you feel that you get the most value for your money with the four five one stacking up on midfield? Uh, I'd say either the four five one or the three five two maybe. Mm. That's, those are my go to. 
so so yeah, okay yeah absolutely and again we you've got this is the thing you've got wesley so you so you will be playing a 352 yes after after, after game week after game week yeah. 1 i just i've just literally just saw that i just saw an aston villa shirt and i just i thought yeah there we go um so so yeah go go ahead then steve what do you think of this team uh, it, again it's that classic thing of it's different it's I don't like the Delafeu pick per, as a as a one man striker up front. I think that if anybody's going to go with a one man striker, it's got to be a premium. It's got to be a premium, or at least somebody that's proven to score on a consistent basis. I like Wilson Delafeu is too. I say streaky. I mean FPL Buna clarify with me. He scored the majority of points against two two relegated teams. I think I think uh, I'd rather take Josh King if anything, or even Wesley. I mean, you've got Wesley actually on the. In fact, yeah, I've just seen Wesley on the bench. <laughs> He's got Wesley. Yeah, so I, I'd rather have amazing. Wesley as a front man and maybe upgrade um, the De La Feu's money into a midfielder slot, maybe or maybe even upgrading Kafka. You, you're missing but, out. You're missing yeah. out on Wan Bissaka. What's going on? I want to know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, wait and see for Man United mm. defense. For That's fair. Uh, I'm not completely sold on it yet so I'd, I'd rather just that's fair enough. My first round. i don't i don't blame you i don't blame you at all Emilian. i i think that you're you're being you're being cautious I, you're being cautious absolutely yeah i've posted another uh potential draft 10 minutes after where yeah, I, did I saw your, that yeah yeah it was so a uh, free it's a similar thing of a three five two yeah uh, three five two with Ryan and Gold, Walker Peters, Alexander Arnold Zinchenko, and then a five man midfield exactly the same basically. And then but Wesley and Wilson, I prefer that team. That team is mm. a a lot more um, balanced, I think. Uh, just a quick question, Emilian. I know Jason's in a bit of a rush here, but uh, one quick question for you, which is you only just joined the stream a few days ago and you've been a regular ever since. I mean, what's what's bringing you back, basically? It's always interesting to hear uh, p- p- feedback on to what we're doing right for, for, yeah. for you and obviously the listeners at home. Yeah, I'm loving the live streams and I, I love being able to talk with you guys and everyone in the chat. And just get everyone's opinions. I wouldn't have picked uh, Sabios or Wesley if it wasn't for you guys and mm. everyone. Had, so. They're two great picks. They really are. And I think you know Wesley going off to game week one. I mean, you, I I mean you could even like Steve said play him away at Tottenham. It's not a beyond the scope of possibility that he won't do well um, in that Villa team. And McGinn as well. McGinn, remember that name if you don't know it already. McGinn. Don't be surprised if you hear McGinn shouted quite a lot of times during this season. Um, I haven't seen many teams uh, today in the Rate My Team on Discord with him in. It's almost like there was that amazing Messi-esque goal that he scored a few days ago. Everyone was like, okay, let's consider Mr. McGinn. And then it was almost like, okay, well, hang on a minute. Let's... Let's go back to Ceballos and Wesley. So, so, so yes, um, I like, I like it. I like the team. It's, um, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to slate you for having the two Watford in because you've got a plan. You've got a plan to obviously bring in Wesley game week two. So I respect that. Um, That's perfect. That's perfectly fine. And that's the beauty of having people, callers coming on so we can get the, the, the teams, the ideas behind them. And um, so, yeah, I, I think if you're if you're going to stick with that game plan, stick with it. Um, you know, home to Brighton, Watford could easily keep a clean sheet and Defe could easily grab a goal. And, you know, you're getting your points for you're getting points for very low value players. So, yeah. so, so, yeah. And then you've got the switch out game week two. Uh, tell me, are you going to so are you think come game week three, are you possibly going to change De Bruyne out to Son or you've got another way or you, you're you not interested too much in Tottenham no I'm keeping De Bruyne in yeah squad. yeah that's fair that's, that's fair enough no I completely agree I think um, a member of uh, the chat earlier on uh, the name escapes me. You're saying about De Bruyne, how he expects De Bruyne to have an absolute massive season. I, honestly, I, I, I agree. I think, um, I think, you know, if it's long, as long as he stays injury free, De Bruyne is going to be in the points. But, um, but yeah, that's that's brilliant. Thank you ever so much for coming on this evening, Emilian. I know you're waiting in the chat for quite some time. We we do try and 
we will try and get more efficient as we get uh, callers on in the future and i think game week one while we've got like we're going to have probably quite a few wanting to come and talk about their team so we're going to get faster and faster trying to just get those key points out and amelia it's people like you that just give this stream an extra an extra cutting edge really and i really appreciate it thank you it's been fun no no and i i wish we could talk longer but um the time is ticking away and i need to rush so but no thank you ever so much and uh, see you soon um guys again massive thank you to all of you that's joined us this evening sorry we can't go on for another hour or two like steve would normally do if he was doing it solo um we'd love to carry on talking um i think we covered a lot of points about some of the topics that were happening today in fpl and obviously a few of the team selections as well um steve i'm gonna leave it up to you to just wrap this one up then please Oh yeah, I guess <laughs> one of my favourite sayings, let's get through the admin. Basically, if you're brand new to the stream and you enjoy what you're watching, then guess what? We only bring you more and more of this content on a virtually a daily basis. So just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, and you will know instantly that we are going live. If you want to know when we're going live, go to Twitter at EliteFBL. More importantly, why not join the Discord group? I'm sure, uh, well, I know for a fact that there are links in the description. So uh, I highly recommend you join that Discord group. There are lots and lots of friendly members of the community to help you out all in that. Um, hit the like button. Uh, quite simply, as Jason said, it just basically tells YouTube that you enjoy what you're watching, basically. And uh, yeah, other than that, what I will say is that tomorrow morning I've got a very well, I am going to be doing a solo podcast for our Southern Hemisphere friends and our friend Alex Vola. He um, he's uh, designed me a very, very good thumbnail. Jason will uh, really appreciate uh <laughs> That yeah I yeah we like... need to we need to yeah we need, we can't say enough thanks to you guys in the community like alex volo has just really helped us out with the with the graphic design on the thumbnails i've said it before i'll say it again he's just yeah just so appreciative of all of your support everybody and I, I, it's amazing I, I i said to him is there any chance you could do this 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 and this and with like 20 minutes it was just there and i was just like what the is that that was amazing so yeah you're going to enjoy the thumbnail tomorrow so yeah at approximately 7 38 o'clock tomorrow morning i'm going to be doing my final solo stream of the of the nine days that i promised that i'd be doing every day so thank you and i just want to say to the guys that um well donated in the super chat i legitimately really really appreciate that um yeah it, it's gonna go it's gonna go to support the channel it's gonna go back into yeah. the channel be reinvested into the channel steve is gonna get a lovely little light that you can shine on his face so we can all see his beautiful <laughs> face and um, we're gonna reinvest it into to improve it and thank you ever so much for all your support and very quickly dane palmer said pope question mark steve far away pope is he gonna be in a team uh, we, game we, one? We, we, we did a twitter poll on uh we did a Twitter poll about this and 84% of the, the, the things said, yeah, getting in your team. So there's your answer. There you go. Awesome. Thank you, guys. They are looking at the right camera. There you go. Cheers now. Thank you. <laughs> Hello there. Welcome to our elite FPL. You can just become where Shaw's lights were knocked out. Dan, you may want to turn on your light because you're Chat said that uh, Steve, if you bench Alonso and he returns, that you have to get a history tattoo. Oh, on people forehead. in chat say, Jack, before we move on to the elite FBL, or the elite <laughs> First of all, my name. First of all, my name is Jack. Right, okay, I'm gonna let Dan well, speak because it seems to be mainly me. And go, go, Dan. Go ahead. What are you gonna do? No, it's, it's all. It's absolutely fascinating. <laughs> Jason, try and just stop. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, right. I'm. Um...